Hey guys, uh, hopefully you're having a good day today. Things are going well, your life is good, work is good, play is good, all this stuff is good. <laughs> Today I got the Rad Expand 5 from Rad Power Bikes. They're just a powerhouse company in the electric bike world. So this is the first step through bike of theirs that I reviewed. It's pretty excited to see what it can do. Gonna break everything down for you first, starting with the speed test. As far as power goes, it's got a 750 watt brushless gear hub motor, and that's powered by a 750 watt hour battery. You can remove it. There's also four pedal assist levels, a half twist throttle, and a 20 mile per hour top speed. Okay, this is the no power test first. Riding this without any power on gear one is very easy. Let's it up to gear three. I've actually done the two range tests and on both those tests the battery did die about uh, a mile from my truck. So you can ride this without any power. It's not too bad. On pedal assist one tops out at 10 miles per hour. Two is 12, three is 20, and four is also 20. I can feel the motor wrapping up to 1920. As soon as it hit 20 it just cuts off. So again they have put a dampener on this. So then if I really start cranking pedals I can get that up to 22. And then on gear seven on pedal assist four, just casually pedaling, if I stop pedaling, it almost cuts out immediately. A little bit of a delay there. And then going around 15 miles per hour, if I start to pedal, there's one, just over one revolution before the power comes back on. So pretty reactive system. And then also on the highest pedal assist level on gear seven, just on my, on my regular cadence of 70 RPM, the bike's doing all the work. I don't feel I don't feel any resistance in the cranks. I've got to step that up to around 75, 77 RPM, and then I can feel some resistance. But this is the type of bike where you just keep the pedals turning. The bike does 100% of the work. A Rad Power Bikes are known for their gentle acceleration. Gonna test that out. This is the acceleration test. Now the bike does weigh quite a bit for the size, 62 pounds, but can carry a rider up to 275 pounds. I'm a 185 pound rider. Gonna see how long it takes to hit that 20 mile per hour mark. For this test, I got a full battery pedal assist for gear one. See how reactive this is. Here we go. There's ooh, half a revolution and it's off. So from a standstill, very much more reactive than if the bike's already going. And there's 20. That's not bad. Hit 20 miles per hour at about three fourths of a block. And now with straight throttle. Ooh, definitely slower than pedal assist. Now it's starting to ramp up. Definitely not as quick <laughs> as pedal assist. You know, there's 19, 20. So that was about a full block to hit 20 miles per hour. So if you want a gentle acceleration, use the throttle. If you want more poppy, hit that pedal assist. It's time to test out the range of the Expand 5. It's got a range rating of 25 to 45 miles. Gonna do two range tests, the first with easy riding, the second with harder riding and more elevation gain. All right guys, well first off, this is a step through bike. So easy to mount, dismount. The handlebars fold down, the frame folds in half, makes it easy to transport. It comes in black and white, has a rear rack that can hold 55 pounds and mounts for a front rack. There's two full coverage fenders. The rear one is already installed, the front one is not. There's a bunch of accessories these guys have. Phone mounts, bags for the racks, baskets for the racks. Okay, first battery bar gone and I've hit 8.02 miles, maybe about six stops, full throttle, averaging 19 to 20 miles per hour. As far as balance goes, take my hands off the handlebars, very well balanced. If I stop pedaling, power cuts off, still stable. Begin pedaling, comes on nice and easy, nice and gentle. So very stable for a step through bike. See how stable this is, going a little bit faster. Got a good size hill. Handling it 30 miles an hour, it feels like a dream. That is nice and stable. Oh, I can easily go faster. It's about as steep as these hills are though. 32, 33, hairpin turn. Nice. You know, these types of bikes give you a little bit higher center of gravity, but coming down the canyon 32, 33 doesn't feel like you're high up. So handling balance at higher speeds is awesome. The motor noise isn't that bad. I'm climbing 6% grade. I'm on the highest speed mode. I'll just be quite late and listen to it. As far as like popping, cracking, noises, things like that, very quiet. The front brake does squeak a little bit, so it does need to be adjusted. Overall, feel the bike is nice and solid. It feels sturdy, it feels well-built. That's the same thing I've experienced with the other couple models I reviewed from these guys. It feels like a higher-end bike. Two battery bars gone, and I've hit 12.94 miles. 
It's gonna be a little bit tricky for me to talk about the geometry because I am over the rider size rating of 410 to 510. I'm 5'11". If you got a smaller frame, it's a very approachable and friendly bike. There's not a lot to it. In fact, it's got a 68 inch length, a 45 inch wheelbase, a 16 inch standover height, and a 16 inch reach. Even though I'm over the rider size rating, it's pretty comfortable for my frame. All right, down three battery bars. I've got 19.82 miles, full throttle, still averaging 19 to 20 miles per hour. As far as the cockpit, there's 27 inch BMX style handlebars. You can adjust those. You can push them out, bring them back towards you to extend or shorten the cockpit length. Next, you got ergonomic soft durable rubber grips. On the right side, there's a seven speed thumb micro shifter. Going down with the thumb, I can go about three gears, one push. Coming back up with the thumb is one at a time. Rad Power makes our own saddle. I like the size and I've got some good padding in there. This is the type of bike where you can put the miles on and not have to stand up. And then you got CST BFT 20 by four inch all-terrain tires. A lot of bikes that have these same tires in this price range, they're a little bit higher end and they do have a puncture resistant liner in them. Down to my last battery bar and I've hit 23.46 miles. Okay, that wraps up the first range test. My app recorded 25.60 miles with about a 500 foot elevation gain. Uh, the bike did die on me and those last two battery bars go pretty quick. The first battery bar, I got like eight and a half miles. That last battery bar, I got maybe a mile. So just keep that in mind. Overall, 25 miles is pretty awesome. As a recap, the first range, I got 25.60 miles with 546 feet elevation gain. With this one, I got 22.40 miles with 3,339 feet elevation gain. Overall, I went 3,000 feet more elevation and I only lost three miles. That's that's pretty awesome. That's a lot of elevation. I couldn't find a hill rating or a torque rating, but I did find a 15% grade hill. It's time to see how well this can climb. All right, it's hill climbing time. Already climbing. This is a 15% grade. I've got 80% battery life. I'm on speed mode four on the first gear. I am feeling some resistance. It lacks a little bit for power for climbing. Now it's starting to get steep. Next 100 feet is the 15% grade parts. Down to seven. Oh yeah, I'm starting to get a burn now. <laughs> Down to six. And uh, I mean, it's doable. It's not to the point where like my legs are getting exhausted, but I'm starting to feel a little bit of a burn putting in some effort. Bike's doing probably 70% of the work. And coming up over the top, the trickiest part of that hill, I was went down to six miles per hour. Get you to the top, it just doesn't get you there that fast. It's got dual 180 millimeter disc brakes. Time to test those out. Okay, with the brakes, uh, right side controls the rear brake, left side the front. And when you do hit either lever, it does cut the motor off. So light braking here. Fairly smooth, there's no pulsating, which is nice. Coming down the steepest part of the hill at 25 miles an hour, three, two, one. Woo. <laughs> that was pretty steep and pretty fast. Took me about 30, 40 feet to stop. That back wheel was kind of fishtailing a little bit. So not the most stable, but you know, decent. Okay, let me walk you through the LCD screen, everything on the handlebars. So it's just a one piece system power button, plus and minus for the pedal assist level zero through four. If you hold down that minus button, that is the walk assist mode. The bike just goes about three miles per hour. And then as soon as you release it, it cuts power. Headlight here, so easy access for the headlights. Nice looking headlight in the front. Tail light is connected to the bottom of the rack. And then you also have this reflector piece on the fender. And when the brake lever is pressed, that does light up. Then you got a flick bell and that's it. The Expand 5 is water resistant, has a one year warranty and free shipping in the lower 48. Okay guys, well overall I thought the Expand 5 did pretty well for my test, especially in the range region, the range area. It's a lot of miles for a lot of elevation gain. If you want to pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sort of by price and capability. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.